Well, around the nation now, former President Donald Trump won the Iowa caucuses last night with a record-breaking percentage, solidifying his place as the GOP frontrunner. Now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley are facing added pressure to prove they have a path to the nomination. CNN's Julia Benbrook has more. Former President Donald Trump claimed the largest win in Iowa caucus history with more than 50% of the vote. I just want to thank you all. This is a very special night. And this is the first because the big night is going to be in November when we take back our country and truly we do make our country great again. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis took home a distant second place. Thank you so much. A disappointing finish for a candidate who went all in on Iowa. But the Florida governor continues to promise he's the one who can take on Trump. Well, I'm the alternative. The reality is, is half the, half the Republicans do want another choice, and maybe more in some other states. Uh, but you have to be somebody that appeals uh, to conservative voters. Former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley followed DeSantis closely, coming in third. She's been on an upward trajectory in New Hampshire, where voters head to the polls next week. We're putting Iowa in the, in the rearview mirror. I mean, now it's New Hampshire, and it's go time. We've got a week to go and, and do that, but I've been campaigning here for 11 months now and so we're ready to kind of just finish this off and get it and we're a stone's throw away from him reporting in Des Moines I'm Julia Benbrook